Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vago Maradian here at the Navy League's annual Sea Air Space Conference and Trade Show, number one gathering of U.S. Navy leaders from around the world along with their international counterparts to discuss strategy, budgets, technology, and more. Our coverage here is sponsored by GE Marine, Huntington Ingalls Industries, and Leonardo DRS. And we're over here at the ST Engineering stand uh, to talk to uh, Tom Vecchiola, who's the president and CEO of VT Systems, which is the U.S. subsidiary company of SD Engineering, which is Singapore Technology uh, Engineering, who is a retired uh, United States Navy captain and uh, the parent company of VT Halter Marine, represented by Brigadier General uh, Ron Baskowski, uh, who is uh, the president and CEO of VT Halter Marine. Guys, I want to say congratulations on winning the big heavy icebreaker contract with the uh, for the United States Coast Guard. Uh, three ships, three hundred uh, seven hundred fifty million dollars, which is good work if you, if you can get it, which would be built, uh, Ron, in in your yard down there in sunny Pascagoula, Mississippi. But first, Tom, let me start with you. Give us kind of an overview on um, on you know SD Engineering, uh, but also VT uh, Systems, uh, that's Vosper Thornycroft, which is a, a legendary name, Halter, another uh, legendary marine name that the company has acquired. You guys also have made uh, Middle River, which is an aircraft company which you guys have recently acquired also. So it looks like you're on a, a growth spurt, but, but give the audience a sense on VT Systems and ST Engineering and what you guys bring to the market. Great, Vago, it's a, first off, it's a pleasure to be here and we're delighted to have been awarded the uh, Polar Security Cutter uh, for the uh, United States Coast Guard uh, out of the Joint Program Office of the Navy and the Coast Guard. So. So thanks for the congratulations. So VT Systems is the wholly owned subsidiary, as you mentioned, of ST Engineering, a global engineering company with three major verticals, uh, marine being one of the major verticals. Uh, here in the US, we have uh, 15 subsidiary companies, of which Halter Marine is one of our major su subsidiaries. And we do everything from aviation maintenance repair and overhaul work in the commercial aviation world to uh, uh, satellite communications, to shipbuilding. So we have three major verticals along the lines of marine, aerospace, land systems, and electronics. And, and, and it's also a company with extraordinary global reach given that SD Engineering has uh, branches, divisions, and operations globally. Truly a global company, and uh, here in the U.S. we have over 5,000 employees, about $1.6 billion in, in annual revenue, and, and you mentioned uh, ST Engineering, our parent, continues to invest in the United States. Uh, we've recently closed on a major acquisition with Middle, Middle, Air, Middle River Aircraft Systems, and of course we're significantly uh, leveraging and invested in the shipyard in Pascagoula, or actually two shipyards in Pascagoula. Uh, exactly, so uh, Ron, that's that's where you and your business come in. So first let me ask you, what do you think were the attributes of your ship and your design that beat out the competition at the end of the day? Hard fought, folks wanted that contract as well, Bollinger and Fincantieri, obviously, uh, the other um, uh, competitors in it. Talk to us about what gave you guys the edge. Okay, well I'm not, we don't know for sure, but I'm, we're, we think we had the best value for the government. And it didn't just start with the RFP, but we did a two-year study, a competitive study with all of the uh, competitors, five different teams, and we put a, a lot of thought into how uh, we are going to make this, uh, design this icebreaker. Uh, and I think that's the good news story. Because of the Navy and the Coast Guard's uh, industry study, they're going to get a great ship because they went, really did it smart way, reaching out to industry to see what was, what was possible and what was best. Uh, on our design, I think we, we read the RFP very closely and carefully, and we uh, strategized. We, we talked to engineers, we talked to the experts in polar icebreaker construction, we even talked to the operators, and we took all the lessons they've learned and all of their advice, rolled it into our design, uh, allowed us to meet the, or exceed, in all cases, exceed the minimum requirements uh, that the uh, Coast Guard and the Navy put out. So I think the design is really what put us over the top we have a great design agent with a company called Technology Associates Incorporated, or TAI, out of New Orleans. And uh, talk to us um, a little bit about the investment that has to go into the yard, right? Because uh, folks, as they look at it, say, look, you guys, uh, on the metallurgical side, you have to roll very thick, but also very, very hard steel, which is polar hardened steel. Um, you know, you're building a ship that's much larger than any ship that's been built in, in your yard before. Talk to us about the kind of investment that, that you and you got to look to Tom yeah. in order to help try to underwrite. And he may have to look to Singapore to say, hey, yeah. we might also need some resources. Well, yeah, there's definitely going to be some investment there, but we built that into our bid, and we've also built that into uh, into our, our uh, lo current location. State of Mississippi, for example, is going to provide some grants to help us with workforce development and infrastructure improvement. 
uh, just makes it a, a much, the Gulf Coast a much better place and more competitive place to do shipbuilding. Uh, as far as the, the uh, investment, most of our investments are going to be done to increase productivity and deal with the specialized construction of an icebreaker. Uh, very deep and thick uh, uh, shells and very deep frames, uh, very difficult to get in, so we're going to have a lot of automated welding, uh, robotics welding into places where m men cannot uh, get inside. Uh, and to, it will not only result in a, a higher quality welds, but it will deal with welds that would be very difficult to do by hand. So we are, are uh, shortening and improving production and bringing productivity that way. And uh, Tago, just, yeah. I just mentioned, just to add on, that you know, ST Engineering Marine is, is a global marine shipbuilder. And we're certainly leveraging the technologies that, that they've developed and actually the positioning the company from an investment perspective and capital expenses uh, to just to actually reinforce the commitment that ST Engineering has to the U.S. market. Uh, you you uh, answered exactly the question I was going to ask you, which is what is the, some of the technology that uh, ST is bringing to the party given that you know Singapore is a high labor cost uh, nation, but it still uh, is an exporter, for example, of ships in part because of uh, robotization, uh, robotized technology. So Ron, how do you respond to some of the folks here who say, hey, for the amount of money that you guys bid and won this for, that it's going to be very, very tough to, to execute. How do you how do you respond to that, that kind of criticism? And it, and it didn't come from your direct competitors, by the way. It was just an observation some folks were making. Well, I'm sure everybody is wondering, how, you know, how are we going to do this? There hasn't been a, a heavy icebreaker made in the U.S. for over 40 years. That's why we reached out to people that do it all the time, the Finns and the Germans, and we captured uh, best practices. We've actually had uh, a Finnish company come in, uh, look at our yard, tell us what we're doing right now that we'll, it will meet this requirement, giving us ideas on, on how we can do capital improvements that will take us to the next step. And uh, we've done a lot of study on this, not just on the design, but how we construct this, this vessel. I think we'll, we should uh, be all right. Uh, Tom, do you uh, think this gives you a leg up on the other three medium icebreakers? Are you guys going to be pursuing that as well? Well, certainly, you know, our uh, performance on, on this will, I think, assist us in, in, the, in the future. It's certainly going to be a Coast Guard decision on how it goes, but I think that we'd like to prove ourselves to the Coast Guard. They are a new customer for us, so we're extraordinarily pleased that they've selected us, and, and we are putting our best foot forward to ensure that we can deliver the customer what it, con customer what it contracted for us to deliver. Ron, have you guys sketched out what that medium icebreaker looks like and, and already talking to the Coast Guard about what it is they want out of that medium polar security cutter? Well, we're focusing on the task at hand, but we think that our design probably could lend itself very well to what they want to achieve with the medium cutter as well. Uh, we did a lot in the process of designing the heavy uh, cutter, heavy polar icebreaker. Uh, we looked at, you know, how would we power it differently or if, if, if they wanted the same hull design, a lot of the a lot of the cost is in design, so if they use the same design uh, and, and put that on top of our learning curve, uh, they, the government could quite could save a lot of money, uh, possibly, and, and uh, that might be a good move in itself. We'll make that, uh, do that study, and make that uh, recommendation as we go along. But I think that will bear out to be true. Um, Tom, how do you want to grow the business? Something like this is always um, a great win, uh, assuming you guys execute it well. Um, that opens doors. You know, where where do you want to see the company in in five years? And I want to ask you, Ron, the same thing in terms of the shipyard growth. Where are the other kinds of business you guys want to um, grow into when it comes to U.S. government work on on the marine side of things? But I want to start macro company with you because you guys have drone busting technology, command and control. I mean, I mean, the amount of, of capability in the company is 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 considerable. So I, I think I mentioned Vago that you know we're, we're along four verticals right now. Uh, m marine aviation, uh, electronics, and land systems. So we we're, we're actually have two focus areas of our, of our continued growth. One is in the area of defense. So obviously the, the PSC award fits right into that strategy of growing our defense market here in the U.S. We have four other uh, companies in the U.S. that do defense specific uh, solutions. And we're looking for the opportunity to bring uh, uh, capabilities and technologies that were developed offshore in Singapore and, and, and other places in the, in the world and bring them into the U.S. through our U.S. footprint. Uh, the other area that we're leveraging is in the area of smart cities. If you've ever been to Singapore uh, or, or folks that are observing this that have been to Singapore knows, know that they are the uh, tier one 
uh, country, uh, country that has implemented smart technologies. So now we're looking for opportunities to uh, bring those technologies into the U.S. as well. So those are our two major, major focus areas, and of course, we want to focus on our core businesses and grow them as well. And uh, Ron, how are you going to expand and grow your uh, naval business on the, on the back of this tremendous win? Well, I think we, we have an edge that we can build a, a fairly lo relatively large ship, but we can customize it for the exact requirements of the customer. Uh, as an engineering company, if they need to uh, break ice, we can do that. If they need to carry liquid natural gas with a, a very low temperature, uh, we can do the engineering that would uh, design the tanks to carry that. So I think that this put, sets us up well for specialized ships ones that aren't production runs, but we're willing to build and we can do the precise engineering to make it fit the customer's needs. And uh, the Navy is uh, looking for shipyards to try to help alleviate some of its maintenance burden, or is that something you guys are going to be pursuing as well? Sure, we also have in our adjacent yard a repair capability and uh, with a dry dock, and we are looking, in fact, we, we prepare uh, Navy auxiliaries right now, uh, and we could expand, we'd certainly look to expand that. Tom, any, any last thoughts from uh, both of you guys? No, it's a great show, and we're glad to be here, and, uh, and we really appreciate the confidence that the Navy and Coast Guard have exhibited in, uh, in the award. And we're absolutely thrilled to be selected, and we know the hard part is ahead, but we're equally thrilled and, and ready to uh, buckle down and get ready for the production. Retired United States Marine Corps Brigadier General uh, Ron Baskowski, uh, who is the president and CEO of VT uh, Halter Marine, and Tom Vecchiola, uh, the president and CEO of VT Systems, that's the parent company. Guys, uh, congratulations. Uh, look forward to uh, visiting uh, the yard uh, one of these days and eventually uh, getting underway on uh, the new polar security cutter. Come, come on down, you'll like it. <laughs> we appreciate it. Are, are you pretty confident there's going to be no protest? Do you have any word yet on, on uh, how that's going to go? We're to see. We, we are just right now is figuring out what we have to do. Do. If there's a protest, we will look at it. Uh, we have no indication right now that there is one. We'll just wait and see and continue to get ready. And, and uh, Tom, should we read anything into the fact that it says SD Engineering here in terms of a branding? So we're, we're out. We're actually uh, here June 30th. We're going to introduce uh, VT Systems, uh, soon to re be renamed as ST Engineering North America. That, that makes it a little bit easier for people who are trying to follow along the SD yeah. story. And it's, and it's, it's consistent with our global brand, branding initiative. Tom, thanks very much, Ron. Thanks. Fair winds following seas to the both of you, and uh, look forward to staying in touch. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark.